All right, I'm gonna be changing out the trigger spring and uh, the stock trigger on the P365 with the M Carbo trigger spring kit and the IMT Nebraska flight trigger, it's adjustable. Uh, first things first, no magazine, nothing in the chamber. I do wanna check the pull weight, what I have now, see if it changes a lot or, or what. In here, let's see. About five. Six, one. <clears throat> and that was level three, three thirteen. Five. Six, one more. All right, so it looks like the average is about 5.5. .5. All right, 5.49. All right, about 5.5. .5. Start by taking it apart. All right. So this is why. <clears throat> All right, this comes back up to this side. Start with the back, the trigger bar spring. Put that aside. And then move this support, the support plate. Safety lever pin. Once you undo this one, the safety lever, which is this thing, will come off. So pry up on that a little bit. Actually, it's easier if you push right here. So here. And it makes it a little easier to take off and put on. So let's just take that off. Right there. And then this will come off. Come on. There we go. Right here, safety lever. Okay. And this one should be come off right here. Okay. Down. All right. So you bring it down, you want to bring it up and around. Right there. All right. Then you need a safety pin for this. right here and it'll come out right there the trigger all right then the sear and the spring come on this side with your punch you want a little block Here we go. And that's how you take it apart. <clears throat> yep. All right, and I'll put it back together now. All right, I'm gonna be putting it back together. I'm gonna 
get the old trigger out of the way and the old uh, sear spring out of the way. The new sear spring here and the new trigger right here. Um, you wanna check, first things first, check that the pin will go through and it'll go through like your stock, like it would on your stock one. So right here, cause mine wasn't going through and I had to take a little drill bit and clean it out. Um, it had a little burr. It was making it impossible to go through. Now it's good. That's the way I want it. So make sure you check that. So you don't run any problems like I did. All right, put it in. Pin all the way flush. Right there. And then the sear and spring. You just pin right here. Right there. Kind of start it off, come out a little bit, not all the way, or else the sear won't go in. Take the spring this way, facing like that, and drop it in. Like that. Have it at a little angle tilted so it doesn't come off. This is kind of difficult right here. The sear, kind of drop it in. Let's see if I got it. Hold on, right there. Push it from the back. Oh, I lost it. Try that again. Let's try it again, right there. Kind of hold it there. Push it from the back right here, from the under. With a punch from the bottom. Push it in, now that I got it. Hold it, and you wanna push on the pin, this pin right here. Just gotta find it. Find the, the hole. Come on, might have to go in a little more. It's almost there. There we go, just push it in. Make sure it's all the way in. Need a little more. It's not all the way in yet. Use your punch from the bottom. Push it in. Until you find it. Until it's all the way down. It's not all the way down yet. It's close. There it is. Just gotta mess with this here. So push it down, push it down in the front, the back, Push, take a punch, push it in from the bottom. Just move it around until this pin goes all the way in and flush. All right. All right, now the trigger bar. Right here. Put it in. There, and then the takedown lever. <clears throat> you want to go bottom in. You got a little groove right here, and that's where the the takedown safety bar is gonna go. I'll show you right now. I just want to show the groove that I can show right now. Okay, down like this, in. Okay. All right, then you take this bar right here, the takedown safety bar. All right, and you start from the front. And I showed you where the pocket was. Put it in the pocket. Well, this is the front right here. Get it? Cool. Right there. <clears throat> and this back part goes right here. Right there. Okay. And you do want to keep pressure on this, okay? So grab it with your hand. Kind of keep pressure on it. Don't let it come off. Hold it. Okay. There. I leave this index finger because you're going to have a pin that you have to push in. So hold it with this hand or however you got to do it. 
but you got to hold it in. Okay. All right. And you're going to do the safety lever and the safety lever pin. So just holding it, holding this side. This one you can, it could come out a little bit because you got to be able to see. So this one's cool. This one doesn't really come off like down. You have to go up and around usually, but you know, as long as you got it there, you're good. And then you take your, the safety lever pin and then like that in here and then put your finger on it so it doesn't fall off facing like that okay and right here the safety lever you want to put it in just like that in between the the sear right here on the left side there's a pocket right there right in here let me see if i can show a little easier right in there right in there okay and then with this right here you can see right there you kind of see just a little bit out of the way you want to line it up right there's pretty lined up all right so what you do i got my finger on the pin on the bottom okay take this here the seal right here push it down and then it goes in it's hard to see, but because this thing came up, but that's how you do it. So I had my finger on the pin the whole time so it doesn't fall off. Because once you push on the sear, it almost like uh, lets it in as long as you have it lined up. So then you push down on the sear, push in, and it falls in. So right now, like if you don't have your finger on it and you push down on the sear, I don't have my finger, it would fall off. Like I almost want to do it to show you, but it's such a pain in the butt. Um, I'm gonna do it. Screw it. I'll show you. It just falls off. All right. Oh, let's see. Oh, it didn't fall off. <laughs> That's funny. All right. All right. Well, it's not falling off. So it's coming. Like it comes down, but it's not falling off. All right, I'm gonna leave it. So that's that's uh that's that's something telling me don't do it. <laughs> all right. So make sure it's all the way in. Cool. All right. And then you take this right here, the support plate. All right. Put it in right there. Hold it. All right. Then right here, the trigger, the trigger bar. Make sure it's right there. All right. Let's see where it is. Not, not in the, uh, not in this group, like in the middle groove, but right where I have it, right there. Okay, see if I can show better. Right there. So what it looks like when you got it right, it's, it looks like it's just flush right here, like nice and flush. Yeah. Okay. Then the trigger bar spring goes in this hole right here, in there, right in there, all the way in with his finger index finger hold it there take a little flathead just kind of put it in that hole right there let's see here all right come on my hands are slippery Looks like I got it. Cool. All right. I don't recommend you mess with the trigger facing down this way because it'll cause the sear to, and it could potentially drop this pin right here. Okay. So, but yeah, looks like everything's functioning. Okay. Let's drop it in. Okay. Trigger side first down like that. In the grooves. Come on. There we go. 
should just drop in. I don't know why I wasn't like, maybe I had like the little lever, the takedown lever a little off. But yeah, I just dropped in just like that. And then right here, the pin, put it in. And then you're gonna hear a little click. Subtle, subtle little click, even here, even there, even on both sides, cool. All right, let's check the functionality. Still un unloaded and there's nothing in it. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I have this problem with my SIG. You have to push up on this in order for this to go all the way down. So like if you see right here, it won't go down. You have to push up on this all the way down. Then you can just hold it. Let's see here. Oh, it's touching right here. That, uh, what's it called? The safety lever pin. The trigger could be adjusted. So let's, un let's undo the trigger right here. This is too small, I think. Well, let's check it. Loosen it right here. All right. Because I noticed with this trigger, this specific type of trigger, if you have it too tight, this right here, the takedown lever pin, won't let you put your gun in. So let's try it now. There we go. Okay, so you want to do it slowly. You don't want to just jam it in there. All right. Yeah, well, it's functioning, so the bottom end is good. Now we're going to do the top end. So take it all back apart. Right here. All right, cool. Set this to the side because we know that works good. And I'll do the top end. All right, I'm going to be changing out the strike assembly spring and the safety lock spring. First, start off by taking this back piece off. And what you do is the flathead right there, push down on it. You're going to with your index finger up on the back right here. And that should come off right there. What you're pushing down on to make it a little clearer to see is right here. Right there. All right. And then to take the striker, push down on this right here push it down it should come up all right then release it's springed it's got a spring so be careful then pull it out this is what you were pushing down on right here and the spring for that one right there come on doesn't want to come out All right, put it to the side. Okay, so what I did, put this to the side. What I did was uh, I took uh, some pliers and I put a rubber band on it because I'm going to be using this right here as a step, like a little step for this. You want to hold this piece. Basically, you want to hold it there. If you don't, like it comes down, it makes it harder to do. You want it to stay where it is, so I'm just with a little rubber band right there. Use it as a little step. Okay. Then just bring it down. These two little pieces just come off. Little retainer clips or whatever you call them. Okay. Alright, the old striker assembly spring, put it to the side. <clears throat> Got the new one right here. Down. All right. Bring this in right about there while holding it. And these things go like that. I already got one in, holding it with my fingers. And then right here, be careful not to launch them. Just think, I don't think I got it. Did I get it? I got it. Okay. It was kind of halfway there. Make sure you keep. Your fingers on it, you're gonna launch them. Okay. 
see how it looks. It looks pretty good. Cool. To the side. The safety lock spring. That goes right there. Okay, with this piece right here. Just like that. There, there. Like that. Right in there. Push it down. Hold it down there. All right, bring this down. Assemble it. There we go. Perfect. Then you can oil it up because it's all new parts. So put a little oil in there. Put oil right here. Kind of just work it up and down. Drop oil down there. Okay. And then same thing for right here for this new spring. Because I touched it basically everywhere down there. Okay. check the right here see what I got now might have to adjust the the trigger because this, this thing doesn't fit it completely well because it's too thick like in here you know, see it's got see how it's got take up the, the part that's adjustable is to take off that take up um, if you're comfortable doing that go for it some people aren't some people are against it it's up to you and you know safety obviously too so this thing doesn't really fit, so it's kind of gonna be hard to to check. Yeah, it's too hard. It's not giving it a good one. It's not giving it a good. Let's uh, take off this the <clears throat> the take up. Just a little fit in there. So what I do is just kind of move the trigger down. And then tighten it. Oop. Let's see a little less take up. All right. Okay, let's try that now. little take up now all right my camera is about to die let me plug it in real quick <clears throat> all right i'm sorry about that see i took the take up off you can adjust that let's check the trigger pull now let's see if it changed <clears throat> Good. Let me 
t-shirts all. All right, so with five pulls right there, the average is three pounds, 14 ounces, 14, four. Let's see, I was with five. So about 4.2. And what was it before? 5.5, so dropped it a pound. So I feel the difference. It feels pretty good, flat, like not very much take up. Up to you though. Like I said, it's adjustable. And then, yeah, feels pretty good.